Hello everybody, my name is Uber and I welcome back in Fallout 4. Last episode we finished uh, the Nuka War DLC. It was very very cool and so on and so on. But right now there is something else that I like to show you. Uh, we are going back to the Creation Club because I grabbed new content from there. That is called uh, Gunners vs Minutemen, something like that. And it is giving you three new paint jobs for each faction, both Minutemen and Gunners. So, as you know, I love uh, collecting those power armors and different power armor paint jobs. Someone is shooting somewhere. What the hell? And because of that, I thought that it would be very interesting to see. And because of that, as you could have seen, uh, we've got Preston in the back, right here. And we've got Brotherhood of Steel guys in this church. This is our first uh, location that we should see. And I already been here. What the hell? I already shot this guy fusion core out so that I've got free power armor. But I've got idea. I've got I've got a little bit of a very very shit idea that I would like to try out. There is this super mutant behemoth right here. Right? Epic behemoth. Oh shit. Hello. Are you coming? And I would like to lead him in the direction of those guys. Hello. Yeah, come for me. Exactly for me. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, come on, go a little bit closer. And I would like to see if we can take out those Brotherhood of Steel guys. Oh, Preston, come. Come here. Oh, don't tell me that he will just die. I had bigger plans for him. Is he attacking something? What the hell? Uh, okay, he's just attacking something. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, but I would like to kill that guy because he has that Gatling Glazer. So, if I read that right on the wiki, uh, the Fallout wiki, if you kill well, a certain group of people, but you leave no survivors, then you should be good to go. But I'm not too sure about it. So, let's see. Okay. We are still alive. No one is trying to kill us. At least I don't think so. Someone is shooting though. I guess those nuts and those riders. Someone has Tesla rifle in here. Oh, that is our provisioner. From Vault 88. Okay, that changes our perspective a little bit. You don't even know what happened. Holy shit. Okay. Screw it. Let's go with what we need to do and that involves going up here. So let's go. And I would like to tell you that I am recording that episode for the third time. Oh, hello. You also didn't notice anything. For the third time, because it was bugging out like crazy. I mean, the game, not the... Uh, n not this DLC, or at least I hope so. Nice. Let's read that note. Let's see if that improved. Yeah, this is exactly the same like other two attempts. It is very, very small right now, as you can see. I will try to zoom it in the in the editing, but I don't know how good uh, I can do it. God damn it, that is shitty. So if you want to read that, then you can pause the video and try to do it. But I just cannot. I'm sitting way too far from the... Uh, 
from my TV. So, yeah. I don't know what is going on. We, I'm just going blind with that. How are you doing, Preston? With that beautiful Chaos Rifle. Okay, right now we've got to go... How are you doing? How, are, how is our Provisioner doing? Very good. Very, very good. Okay. So let's just run through this area. There are a few riders in here, but screw it. We don't even have to attack them. Like those are those are some very low level raiders. And I guess just that present check can just take them out. Oh, another provisioner. There are so many provisioners around this location. Who are who, who do we have here? Oh, that is. My very first provisioner, my very first provision from Vault 88. I thought I rebuilt him at one point or another. Okay, screw it then. Uh, look at that, look what we have here. That is one of the gunner's paint job. So, yeah, very, very cool. Okie dokie, oh, let's grab a little bit of that stuff that we've got around because we will need it in a moment in just a moment because uh, yeah, if you could have if you could read what was going on on the screen we have to what the hell was going on we have to repaint that power armor and as i said it is uh, this creation club content it's giving us in total six new uh, six new uh, power armor paint jobs. So if we move that helmet, you will see that we've got. Let's see, gunner captain, gunner corporal, gunner sergeant, minuteman armored cavalry, minuteman patri patri pa God damn it, patriot, and revolutionary. Uh, let's go with revolutionary for all of the pieces because that is something that I went with the last time. Who the hell is shooting outside? Preston, do you have an idea what is going on? Because I just feel a little bit uneasy when someone is shooting in the background and I don't know what is going on. But Preston seems to um don't care about it not at all he doesn't care about it at all well that's all right we'll prepare a beautiful uh power armor for him and i believe that those paint jobs you can apply them to all the power armor pieces i mean all the power armor models i believe i'm not sure about it so don't quote me on that. On that. Uh, but for sure we've got six new paint jobs. So something about that I'm really, really happy with. Okay. Nice. And right now we've got to join the battle for Quincy. And not that... Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. That's good power armor. For a moment, for one moment I thought that I am entering the wrong power armor. Okay, dokie, where the hell is Preston right now? I guess that he's having fun somewhere. But I don't know where. Preston. Oh, right here. Hey, go, ahead. go in here. Head over there. Okay. Come on. Let's go then. Come on. Okay. That power armor looks very, very cool. Very, very nice. Okie dokie. How are you feeling, Preston, right now? I hope that you are feeling very well. Now, let's kill a few gunners. Because right now that is our objective. We've got to clear Quincy out of those gunners. And 
I don't remember if I showed you that before. But you can go back to Quincy. You can kill those gunners and so on. But nothing really interesting is happening with that. You are just killing gunners and they are respawning later. So very, very shitty. That is missed opportunity because if you remember, uh, Quincy was the location where Preston and his Minutemen were hiding. And gunners just, well, killed a lot of those guys. And there. So something very, very shitty happened. Uh, and right now we'll be destroying gunners in here. I don't know if those gunners will respawn later. Who the hell even knows? But I'm sure that we'll try at least to do our part. That machine gun there. Or machine gun turret. Okay, okay, let's go in. Hello, hello. Hello Gunner, you are dying. Last time I entered this location from different side. But I don't think that should be a problem. Uh, because our objective is just to destroy Gunners. And there is this Gunner Commander that is running in power armor. And I would like to take out fusion core. I don't know exactly where he is though. Well, not here. Right? Okay, let's see. He was somewhere around here last time I was here. Personal... Preston loved that. Well, that is just great. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That's a lot of you guys in here. Come on, I'm camping here for your leader. Can you just get out of here? I would like to ask you nicely. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. who is shooting me? Oh, that gunner commander. Okay, so I don't think that we can just take out his fusion core. And I don't even want to try going out of our power ammo. Because the last time I did that, uh, one of the Minutemen took, uh, took this power ammo that I could be wearing. And I couldn't get him out of that. And that was a very, very shitty. Because you wouldn't, you, you cannot even imagine uh, how hard it was to make this power armor the way it is right now. And this is the power armor that we finished our Nuka World with. So you know, it has a little bit of sentimental value. There, are, there were a lot of cool stuff that we've done uh, inside this power armor. With a lot of enemies and so on. So, you know, it just seems like a good idea to keep that with us. Okay, okay, so let's just take out those gunners. Let's see, and as I said, I will not try to shoot out his fusion core, because that might be something very hard to do. And I don't want to lose that power, that's for sure. Oh, holy shit, that was just a bloody massacre. And... Okay, we lost that guy. Okay, who is shooting me? Okay, I guess that's no one right now. Where is this gunner? Come on. Oh, whoa, whoa. That Minuteman there, there. Fragment. Gunner allowed Okay. There we've got Gunner Commander. Holy shit, we can go for his, his fusion core. We cannot go for, for his fusion core. Shit. Let's go with Nuka Cola Quantum and let's see if we can do it one more time. And 
not. We can go with his fusion core. But I feel like that will kill him. Let's try to do it. Yeah, I just killed him. Shit. Oh! Maybe I didn't kill him. Okay. Who knows even? Gonna corporal. Someone else. Minutemen. Minutemen. Okay, a lot of those Minutemen around. So very cool that we got that support. Of course, I'm constantly keeping moving. Let's go. Uh, Captain Mercer. Okay. Uh, where is that? Uh, gunner commander that we killed. Oh, that is minute. Sorry. Sorry for that. Let's see, someone died in here. Uh, but where the hell is that power armor? No way. What are you even talking about? Uh, okay. That's not it. Where the hell is that power armor? Okay, look at that baker. I would like to grab this power armor. Okay, that key. Nope. Nope. Okay, screw it, I will look at that location later. So let's continue killing those guys. Maybe I will maybe I will find that power armor. That would be cool. That is Presto. We killed this gunner commander somewhere in here, right? I am not lying right now. I at least I don't think so. This gunner commander died somewhere in here. And I just cannot figure out where he died. Okay, as I said, screw it. Uh, what right now is our objective? Uh, let's see. Clear the area and raise the flag. Okay. A very cool idea. So for going on that plan, we've got to go up. Somehow. Like through here, maybe. Let's see. Oh, assault rifle just dropped down. Okay, okay. Let's let's go with that weapon. That is a very good choice. Okay, okay. How are you doing, Minutemen? I hope that you are doing very, very well. Okay, okay. We cannot do anything with that yet. Uh, let's continue killing those gunners. Hello. Not this minute, man. That is stuck. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, for the Commonwealth and freedom. Something interesting happened. And I looked at this location before. And those resources are just respawning. So it is good idea to go here before you purchase this uh, Creation Club creation, well, Creation Club content maybe. Uh, let's go with that. Uh, just so that you can pick up a little bit more stuff. Because this location is just giving you free stuff. Very, very cool. Uh, so far, it f I think that uh, it is exactly the same loot that I found here before. But I might be wrong about it. Oh, hello. Who died in here with power armor? Gunner commander. Okay. Nice. Are there any more gunners somewhere in here? 
There is someone there, but no one in here. Okie dokie, so let's go. Hello, hello, how are you doing? You are dying, you know that, right? Come on. Nice. Okay, how many gunners are still left? Oh, it's already nice and sunny in here. Okie dokie. There is there are gunners there? What the hell? How am I supposed to get there? Okie dokie. Let's go back. Oh, come on. I do wonder if Quincy will become our new settlement then. If we retake this location from Gunners. Because that would be cool. Shit. Who is running around here? Preston, okay. Oh, hello. Nice. What is going on? What was that sound? Okay, okay, let's see if we can go up. Uh, well, I don't think that Minuteman will kill everyone last of you. I think that Uber will do it, but alright. Whatever you say. Let's go back, let's try to put that flag up there. Riders? Aren't we killing gunners right now? Okay, interesting. Whatever you guys will say. Let's go up. Let's see where we are putting this flag. Uh, where the hell was that? Who is there? Minuteman. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see. Maybe that power armor is somewhere. Someone is still shooting. Yeah, I'm sure that everyone is okay. Don't you worry about it. Okay, okay. We have to put that flag in here. Let's go. Nice. And that's it. And that's it. That is it. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's... That's cool, I guess. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more stuff happening. So we just killed the gunners in here and that's all. Okay. Okay, but still we've got new power armor paint jobs, so something that I've been looking forward to. And I, I don't know what else I would like to do with the rest of this episode. For sure I don't want to just bore you with that. So maybe let's go for a deal like that. Um, nice armor you've got here. You showed up just in the nick of time. You looking for a new place to settle? Could be. Why, do you know of somewhere good? Uh, yeah. I sure do. Oh, nice. Let's send him to the castle. Yeah. Good idea. See you there in a day or two. Can we recruit more of those guys there? Let's see. I didn't even knew we can do it. Hey, thank you, General. We appreciate the help, General. Okay, if you manage to find this power armor that I was looking for, then be sure to give me a call. Okay, let's see if we can recruit those guys then. Uh, come on, guys, don't you run away from me. We appreciate the help, General. Excuse me. Thank you, General. We can take it from here, General. 
Okay, thank you. But you don't want to join me? What? Hey there. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, dokie. That is a little bit shitty, but all right. So let me take a little break. Can you get out? Nope, you cannot get out. Okay, screw it. Okie dokie, so give me just one moment, I'll be back with you. Well, what? <sighs> oh yeah, baby, he just went out of that power armor. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Preston, hey, get out. Listening. What is it? I need you to get out of your power armor. Sure thing. And now I need you to go into hey. okay. what am I that doing? power armor. Got it. Thank you very much. Let's take fusion core out of that one. So those. So I would like. To, uh, I just took the, out that fusion core because I don't want them to. Well, still that power armor. Okie dokie, so that is very good. Uh, as I said, give me just one moment, I will uh, prepare to... I will prepare a little bit more better to show you all of those different paint jobs that you can get. So, see you in just a moment. Sure, go ahead. When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you, but you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Why do you care so much what happens to the Minutemen? When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. When I turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones. Really believed in the old-time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place. If things were so great back then, how did it all fall apart so fast? I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention to. You know, the politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups. I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it, keep everyone more or less on the same team. But after he was killed, it all came out in the open. I couldn't believe it at first. These guys were supposed to be Minutemen. They were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything, I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. Well, why are you telling me all of this? I guess I'm just trying to say thank you, if that makes any sense. Thank you for being different than most everyone else I've run across. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Time, Preston. Thanks, man. We probably better get back to it. Oh, Kidoki, I am back and I spent like five minutes trying to get Preston into position for this shot to open up this clip, but I think that he doesn't li really like photos right now or acting with me. Screw it. I spent like one hour, or a little bit less than one hour, trying to complete every possible uh, paint job that we've got for our new power armors. Uh, oh, excuse me, the wrong way. I was trying to get enough paint jobs, uh, and uh, enough material for paint jobs, and enough power armors for painting them, right? For all the new uh, power armor paint jobs that we've got. Oh, this is the way I was trying to pronounce it. So, yeah, behind that door, there are all six of those new power armor paint jobs, and let's check them out. Oh, yeah, baby, and we've got Radiation Storm in here. This is just great. Okie dokie, so on the left, you can see all the gunner paint jobs, and on the right, you can see all the Minuteman paint job. And in the middle, there is the original Minuteman paint job that we that we had from the beginning of the game after we joined Minuteman faction, right? 
So from the left we've got Gunner Captain, Gunner Corporal and Gunner Sergeant, uh, Power Armors. And from all of those, I don't really know which one I like the best. Uh, you know, I would probably mismatch a few of them, like uh, this helmet looks really, really awesome. Uh, but, for example, I do prefer how the rest of the armor looks on that one. Or that one. That one is even better. So, I would, if, if I was going for gunner look, right, I would go with this helmet, this torso, and those legs and arms. And I feel like that would be really good combo, right? Uh, as I said, this is the original Minuteman paint job. This one you can only do on T45 power armor. Uh, those, all of those three, and all of those three you can do on every possible power armor model. I just picked up uh, T60 because T60 is the armor that has the most, like, um, the, the, is the biggest in the terms of, uh, well, uh, the places where you can paint it, right? Uh, because all of the rest of those, of all of the rest of the power armors, I feel like they are a little bit smaller, and T60 is like the the biggest one visually speaking, or maybe XO1 is a little bigger. It doesn't matter. I had a lot of T60, so I went with T60 also. Uh, yeah, as I said, you can paint those new paint jobs from this Creation Club content on every possible power armor model that you want. So, something important to keep in mind. And on the right we've got all the Minutemen paint jobs. So, uh, let's see. That one is Revolutionary, that one is uh, Armored Cavalry, and that one is Patriot paint job. I, I believe, if I remember correctly, and I believe it is true. And in terms of what they are giving you other than cool looks, well, there's not too much to it. Uh, on the le every armor power armor on the left is giving you more strength, but only if all the pieces are painted. The one in the middle and all those three in on the right are only giving you are only boosting your charisma if all the pieces are painted. So it seems like it's just repainted power armor paint job from the military. Uh, paint job. Uh, this is the one that you have already in the game from the beginning and it is only giving you boost to strength and Minuteman paint job, the one right here, is also giving you boost to charisma just like the Voltec paint job. So in terms of the bonuses or something like that they are not giving you anything else. They are not boosting statistics of the armor in, every, in, in any way. So, if you are looking for that, then I'm sorry. But if you're looking for good-looking power armor paint job, then, well, you've got six new power armor paint jobs that you can apply to every possible uh, power armor model, other than those that you've got from your other Creation Club content, like, for example, uh, X02 that I have right here, or Hellfire, or uh, Captain Cosmos, and I guess that also this uh, Giddy Up Buttercup power armor also is not paintable with those paint jobs. And you also cannot paint uh, those paint jobs on Raider power armor. So I don't know if that is a big deal, but uh, I thought that you might be interested with that. Thank you, Preston. If you're, before you weren't interested in standing right next to me, and right now you'll be just walking. From one end of the room to the other, right? Great, thank you. I was exactly counting on that. Uh, Okie dokie, so I feel like there is nothing else that I would like to tell you. Oh, sorry. I told you which one, which one is my favorite from this part. And from this one, hmm. It is hard to judge. This one is very similar to the original Minuteman paint job. So that is a little bit of upgrade, right? But I wouldn't call that the best one. That one looks cool with all of those little details like like right here. 
or here comes the cavalry and so on. that looks cool uh, but I do feel like that one this, that one looks the best from all of them although I would like to have more detail on those uh, little ornaments there but screw it that is not a big deal um, so yeah I would pick that one as my favorite and as I said to you before uh, from those I would just pick few pieces uh, from each set uh, they are not adding anything crazy new other than new power armor looks but it is something that I was looking for so that counts for me and that will be it for this episode I know that it's a little bit shorter than the usual but this is all I've got for you t for, t for you today uh, because I would like to keep keep uh, episode related to the subject of the episode and subject of this episode was exactly getting those power armor paint jobs and showing it to you so yeah I would like to thank you all for watching and of course see you bye bye Preston see you in the next one bye bye